Hello my friends, welcome to the channel. Today in this quick video I'm gonna demonstrate how you can switch between three different modes of view in Adobe Photoshop. This is gonna be really simple and you can use those modes depending on when you need more space on a table. For example, if you need more room you can use the full screen mode or if you need to use all the panels then you're just gonna switch to the regular mode where you can see everything here. So. So the first view mode is the normal view mode, the same as you have as when you open Adobe Photoshop. For example, you see that you have all your panels on the side, you have your tool panel, you have your menu on top, you have your file name. And also if you open Photoshop, sometimes it might be in a separate window like this, but you can always clip it to the desktop if you just drag it over here until you see the blue line appears and it's gonna just attach it this way if you have like multiple images they're just gonna be like tabs over here so this is called the normal mode and you can work in this mode just like in any other mode for example if you need more room on the screen you can always switch to the second mode and this second mode is gonna remove lots of the description on the bottom it's gonna remove the title on the top here and it's gonna leave more room for you to work with so for that you just gotta press F and there we go. So right now you can see that we have the panels left here. We still have the top menu here, we have the toolbar here. In this mode you can always also move the image. The only thing is if this mode is actually strictly designed to work with only one picture, unlike working with the regular mode where you have these tabs where you can switch between different pictures. So for example, I have added a couple more pictures so I can show you as an example. Right now I have three tabs on the top here. And when I choose one image to work with and I press F, it's gonna switch to only this image and then you're just gonna have to work with this image. You don't see any other images anywhere. But if you wanna switch to a different image, all you have to do is just go to this window menu and as you can see, they're listed on the bottom here. But as a recommendation, if you working on different images, just name the file so you don't understand which file is which, because right now, honestly, it doesn't tell me anything. Like those files are not named, they just named by the date and time. So I don't really know which file is which, but if you name them properly, let's say this is a mountain and this is lake, then it will be a lot easier to switch between pictures this if you have multiple pictures there and the third mode is called the full screen mode you gotta press f again and then you can also bring it to the full screen like this and as you can see this full screen mode allows you to have really as much room as possible on your screen you can actually see the way that the picture is going to look when somebody is going to look at it on their monitor at the full screen it gives you more usable area of your monitor and if you remember all the hotkeys let's say you want to zoom it in you just gotta press and hold alt and use the mouse key this way it allows you to use the zoom and then you can always move it around so all you need to do is just you just gotta remember the hotkeys and then you can just use it as any other mode so there you go guys these are the three modes that you can use in adobe photoshop i hope you like it if you do please let me know in the comment section below also support this video with your like subscribe to the channel for more helpful adobe photoshop tutorials if you have any comments collections let me know hope you have a nice day i'll see you soon Bye-bye.